Hey, Warriors. Welcome to our second to last broadcast of Warrior TV. I'm Oregano. And I'm Basil. And we're here to spice up your day. On May 16th at 7 at the Weaver High School Auditorium, join the Weaver bands for an incredible night of music. Featuring music from movies, video games, jazz, and a tribute to our graduating seniors. Come to have a great time hearing talented students perform. It'll be awesome. Speaking of awesome, let's, let's send it to... Send it to Colby to give us some TV star reviews. From soap operas that last 50 plus years, to Netflix shows that get cancelled after four episodes, TV has been an essential part of entertainment, and I am here to rate some of them for you. Time for part two of ranking things. Moon Knight. Most recently I watched this Disney Plus's latest show, Moon Knight. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. The best episodes were amazing, and the rest were kinda just mediocre. Overall, gets a thumbs up for me, 4 out of 5. Daredevil. This is an older show, but with its new release on Disney+, Plus, I decided to review it and tell you guys how great this show is. Watch this show. If you liked Moon Knight or any of the other Disney Plus shows, this is for you and is by far the best. 5 out of 5. The Book of Boba Fett left me and tons of other Star Wars fans disappointed, to say the least. With its mediocre plot and bad attempts at fan service, it comes off, it's, it's not good. It feels like Boba Fett is in the backseat of his very own show, with the best episode, him being in it for like, two minutes. Overall, it kind of felt like The Mandalorian 1.5. 1.5 out of 5. Better Call Saul is the epic prequel to its iconic predecessor Breaking Bad, which is my favorite show of all time. This show may not be your thing, but it is as entertaining as it is deep and philosophical. Some of the best writing in TV ever, if you like crime shows you'll love it, and if you're into law and great characters and witty dialogue, then you will love this a lot. Watch this show. 5 out of 5. Ow. Back to the anchors. Ever wonder what it's like to be part of the Warrior Drumline? The Warrior Drumline is holding an open drumline day on May 18th from 3.30 to 5 in Mr. Windsor's room. No experience required. Less than 10 days until graduation. Let's hear some of the seniors' best memories. So what's your name? Avery Brenton. Hi. <laughs> and Avery, what was your favorite senior experience? Well, okay, so I have two. Uh, hunchback. When I did Hunchback of Notre Dame, I was just good to get to know yourself differently and learn some good morals and meet some nice people. Um, and I really enjoyed Senior Cotillion. Like, I really like, that sounds really cheesy and all these things, but um, I just felt like everyone was actually having fun. It was a good way to end the year and just spend time with the people that I care about. Okay, what's your name? Macy. And Macy, what was your favorite senior experience? Uh, I love the homecoming weeks and the parades and all the hype around it. My name's Carter. Carter, what was your favorite senior memory? Um, I have a lot of them, but I would personally say all my time in student government and among us. What's your name? I'm Joshua Twitchell. Josh, what's your favorite senior memory? My favorite senior memory has been the wonderful track season that I've had this year. What's your favorite senior memory? I think my favorite senior memory is doing all the plays, like Hunchback and everything, and vibing with all my friends. So, that's my Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've had some good times. Let's send it to our sports guys who always have a good time. Hey, sports peeps. Spring sports are slowly coming to an end. Baseball has their first round of playoffs this Saturday. Softball has their state tournament on Monday. Soccer has their first playoff game on Tuesday. We made a little video with a big announcement. Boy, soccer team has officially won. So, is this enough? Yeah. Hey, Warriors, you may be wondering why we're sitting up here. Well, we've got a huge announcement for you, and so we needed a huge sign to sit on. That's right. And that huge announcement is your boy soccer team has officially won region two years in a row now. What that means is they have a first round bye. So instead of playing this Friday, our first game will be Tuesday, May 17th. We need everyone to come out and support as our boy soccer team tries to win state for their third year in a row. That's right, Warriors. Hope to see you there. They got us. <laughs> We need everyone to come out, support, as the season's coming to an end. We'll see you next week, Warriors. Love you. 
Thanks, sports bros. That's it for the show. Next week, we'll be graduating. Bye. Sucks.